To the Five Burrows is the latest album by my next guest. We'll be appearing tomorrow night at Nassau Coliseum. Please welcome New York City's own Beastie Boys. <laughs> Like Matt to K, rock the mic from Munich out to top pace. Still around the way, way, it's where we stay. I say, fuck with me, I mean, fuck we say. Check the reads from the past, I'm taking their toll in. What we do now is future molding. Columbine folding, childhood stolen. We need a bit more gun controlling. Beastie Boys, thank you so much for being here. First of all, that was real honor to have you on the show. 
I want to ask you about a couple of things. First of all, you have uh, this tour. This, this been this tour going that's for a while now, and you have an interesting opening act on the tour that one might not expect. Let's talk about that. Well, it's not actually a tour. It's We're a, it's a traveling pageant. A traveling pageant. Yeah. I'm sorry, I misspoke. A traveling pageant. Yeah. And and tell us how the pageant begins. So hence the opening act. Hence the opening act. Which is a dog show. So uh, you have a dog show. Yeah. But not a dog show, not like a competition where, you know, best of breed. It's like a, uh, a bunch of dogs. Actually, they're rescue dogs. So this right. man, Bob Moore, right. and his amazing mongrels, right. he rescues these dogs from shelters where awful things might sure. happen to them. Sure. He rescues them. And then do the dogs do any kind of performance? Do they, do they, do they have tricks? Do they... Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Tight ropes. Oh, sorry. Yeah, tight ropes. Oh. I mean, they, it's, it's heart-stopping. High jumps. Jump through hoops. This is incredible stuff. Does the audience know this is going to happen? Are they momentarily stunned? Or, uh, you know, they've, they've come to see the Beastie Boys. They've come to the pageant, as it were. And then uh, dogs are on stage, and they're doing tricks. Is there... There's, yeah, there's usually a couple people that are a little confused. But then they, you know, right. it, sets, it sets the tone. Right, right. I think it sounds fantastic. Yeah. Some cities, though, you'd be surprised, are real dog lover cities. Denver, for instance, dogs were big. <laughs> so they go crazy for the dogs. In Seattle, someone screamed, Fifi sucks. <laughs> You're serious? Someone, someone screamed that at a dog? Clearly Fifi not sucks. a big dog city, Seattle. Fifi. Maybe they knew that particular dog and knew that that dog, you know, was a bad dog. Fifi, Fifi's the star of the show. Right, right. I mean, she does some she big She jumps things. from the high thing, she climbs up the ladder, and the whole nine. I mean, There's no room for that kind of hate, I don't think. Especially, <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's wrong. It, yeah, maybe you can investigate it, a hate crime against dogs. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'd be the one to do that, so I'll look right into that. And clearly, uh, now, I want to ask you about this, uh, and this is, uh, you guys are, we're probably roughly the same age. I'm in my late 50s, and... Uh, <laughs> No, we're roughly, I'm guessing we're roughly the same age, and you guys are still Teenagers. going. Yes, yeah. we're still, yeah. You're a child. <laughs> I'm a child. But you have managed to stay relevant. You're going strong, uh, you know, uh, around 40 years of age. Did you think that that was possible? Did you ever think about it at all when you were 20, 21, and, and rapping? Or did it never occur to you? You never thought about it? So what you saying? I mean, it's one of those things where there's no reason until the Rolling Stones started touring, you know, well into their... They're in their 70s now, and they're great. They still are doing it. Did, you know, it's... A little awkward. What's that? A little awkward for them. Yeah, it is, it's getting awkward for them? Um, hey, wow. I'm just saying. <laughs> My job here is to trick you into saying one thing you later regret. My job is done. <laughs> uh, well, uh, it, it is an amazing thrill to have you guys on the show. Thank you so much That's for it? doing it. We appreciate it. Yeah. You're done? So I'm going to commercial, and then we're coming back for a 40-minute interview. Right. Right. This is going to be on PBS. This is part of the American Masters series. Hey, hey, before we go, though. Yes. The only time we've ever been interviewed, we, we played songs on shows. We never, we've only been interviewed by Joan Rivers on a Joan Rivers show. Yeah. Well, and there you, you go. Now. So I'm now it's... being around now for a I'm minute. In, now I'm in, uh, Joe I'm in fucking well, Joe company Joe now. Franklin. Joe yeah. Franklin. Joe you were on the Joe Franklin show? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That is incredible. That's big time. That's amazing. Well, you're in New what York. You, you know Joe Franklin. Well, I'm from Boston originally. But, go Red Sox. Uh, <laughs> Clearly this interview is over now. <laughs> You never would have come on if you know I was from Boston. Uh, huge thanks. Thank you for being here. Uh, to the five boroughs. Go out and get it. Beastie Boys, Paget Brewster. <laughs> Jimmy Levine on the next one, but send to the last call with Carson Daly. Bye-bye.